Hi there, this is J. Richard Varvel with the JRV Morning Show, and I wanted to have you join me as I cleanse, clear, and uplift my living space as well as outside my living space. Uh, I'm, I've grabbed one of my good boxes, and so we're ready to go. Uh, first, though, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, energy you want to be in when you're cleaning and clearing your space. Uh, it's great to first grow roots from the base of your spine and the bottoms of your feet down to the center of Mother Earth. That's anchoring you uh, with the Earth's energy, connecting you with the Earth's consciousness, as well as grounding your energy. And then it's also great if you imagine a gold and silver ball of light that is emanating from the center of your heart space, and then it's emanating out. You grow up past your physical body. I would make it as big as your property. Uh, that is your energy, that is uh, your divine essence, uh, and so you're basically pushing your energy all the way out, and it's like a sphere, and you're emanating like a star in every direction, so it's a perfect sphere, and just imagine it going out as big as your property, and then that way you're walking around in your light, in your energy, grounded with the Earth's energy, and you're ready to go. So now we're going to go uh, and start off with saging. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about sage. So if you had a little piece of sage like this in a bundle, um, you would want to go ahead and um, break a smaller piece off, at least I like to. And then we're going to go ahead and light it. And we want to just go ahead and make sure we get it going and we want to also make sure that we have a uh, place just in case any burning embers um, do come off. It is good to have it over your box uh, or your, um, in this case, I also have an abalone shell in here. Um, it's good to have some kind of fireproof uh, container that you can put the sage uh, in. And then I like to then just pick the whole uh, container up. In this case, I have my good box and I use this to walk around the house with just to make sure that I don't get any uh, burning embers, that they don't drop on the carpet. And I also have a small dog, Watson, and he enjoys uh, walking around with me while I do the saging. And so just to make sure uh, none of the embers fall on him as well, it's great to have the box. And again, it's great to have my good box. <laughs> I'll talk about uh, the good box at the end if anybody's interested. So uh, anyways, after you light the sage and you get a good smoke going, uh, that's when you would walk around the house. <clears throat> I usually start off going in a counterclockwise direction and I go through the entire house and then I go through the outside and do the same thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back and we'll talk about the Palo Santo wood. All right, we're back. So <clears throat> now the next part of the uh, saging and uh, cleansing and clearing process is taking a piece of Palo Santo wood, and this comes from the Peruvian traditions. Uh, this also is a cleansing smoke, and so you wanna take it and go ahead and get it started. Again, you wanna make sure that you're keeping yourself over your uh, box uh, or fireproof container of some kind. Uh, just to make sure that you don't have to worry about any uh, embers falling on the ground, burning any carpet, burning any floor, or any of our special animal friends. <laughs> uh, I like to get it going just a second. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, it's a nice smoke. And again, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take the good box and we're going to move around the house uh, and um, make sure everything gets a nice, good smoke. Uh, one thing I like to do as well that I'll uh, remind you about is I like to crack some windows uh, or, and open some doors, uh, weather permitting, uh, just to allow the energy and the air to move through in and throughout your entire space. Uh, so go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take my good box and go around and smudge with the Palo Santo wood. And I'll be right back and we'll talk about the sweet grass. All right, we're back. Now for the final phase, we're gonna go ahead and burn some sweet grass. 
And this brings in the nice, yummy, mm -mm -mm good energy into your living space. And it even has a nice, sweet smell as it burns. So uh, I, it comes in a braid. I'm at the towards the end of this particular braid. And I like to pull out some of the braid so that way it's a nice, um, it's all undone. <clears throat> and then again, I like to light it on fire. This one you really want to be extra careful with. It sometimes feels like it doesn't light up at all. And then all of a sudden the whole thing <laughs> goes up very fast. So this is one you want to be very careful, um, making sure that everything stays uh, in control. We don't want any out of control fires. All right, so again, we got our nice uh, smoke going. Mm, oh, so sweet. So we have it in our protective good box container. And then we're going to take it again, going around the entire house as well as the outside, really uh, uplifting your entire space inside and out. So before uh, we go, I wanted to let you in on a few tips and tricks. Uh, one of the things I like to do is start off with a clean and tidy uh, living space. Uh, I feel like it's important to declutter uh, and to clean up <clears throat> as much as possible before you do the energetic cleansing and clearing using the smudging, smudging smoke. Um, it's almost like you're uh, creating a set change for yourself, giving yourself a point, of, a point to start fresh, to start anew, uh, where you're all cleaned up, you're all organized and ready to go. Um, really uh, setting the tone and uh, setting the, the marker point from where you are letting the past go and you're starting fresh and new. Uh, and so I love to do that. And plus, the great thing is that when you're all done, you get a nice, yummy, clean space to enjoy. Uh, the other thing to be uh, aware of is <clears throat> it is a lot of smoke. So for anybody that is sensitive to smoke, you want to make sure you don't smoke them out. And uh, if it's not, if they're not able to be uh, in the house or with you while you're doing uh, the smudging activities, um, it might be something that you can arrange where they leave for a while, allow you to do the cleansing and clearing, allow the smoke to clear, and then that way uh, no one is um, too affected uh, in case they have any breathing problems. Uh, and let's see what else. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I have a good box. Uh, this is one of them right here, and it comes with a bundle of sage, a piece of Palo Santo wood, uh, a braid of sweet grass, and then it also has a solenite, a mini solenite wand, a mini chakra bead wand, uh, and so it comes with a lot of fun goodies. All of them are all about helping you cleanse and clear and uplift your space. Uh, plus it comes in this wonderful box, keeping it all nice and tidy and organized. Uh, so this is available. Uh, it is $55. And right now I am running a special that with any purchase of any of my, any of my products or services, you get a free 20 minute reading. Um, so there's lots of deals there. If you have any questions or would, and, and or you would like to know more, please don't hesitate to reach out in a private message and or give me a call on the phone. I'd love to hear from you. All right, until tomorrow at 11, uh, I will see you then. Bye-bye.